how you guys doing? I feel those, uh, those uh, after work claps, you know, those after work. I just got done with work. You guys feeling good? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. I got notes here. I got notes. Uh, did everybody see the photography out there? That's some beautiful photography. And everything is for sale. So you'll see a little card that's a story that goes along with it. And everything is for sale. So bring something home for your collection. For your, that's what you call it when you, when you have multiple pictures, you know, my collection. So if you, you buy a photo, you can start saying, my collection. That's pretty cool to say at your house. This is my collection, my collection. I, the, the, the chair of the event, Stephanie Prechter, who, who's wonderful, who's wonderful, a friend of mine, she has something that she says with uh, photography. And I, when, first time I heard it, I thought it was so beautiful. She says that photography is writing with light. I thought that was so eloquent and beautiful when she said it, you know, writing with light. And I thought about storytelling, and I was thinking of something that I could, I could call, say, storytelling, like listening to stories, and I could think of something eloquent and, and beautiful like Stephanie had with uh, photography. And I came up with a few things. You want to hear them? Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, one I came up with is, is riding shotgun in a memory mobile. That's pretty eloquent, huh? Uh, drooling on someone else's pillow. It's like a dream, like you in a dream state on somebody else's pillow. Uh, this one's a little more disgusting, but I think it gets the point across. Borrowing someone else's brain and eyeballs. Not that eloquent, not as beautiful as, as Stephanie's, but, but that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do all those things when we hear some stories tonight. So I, I, I'm so excited to hear the stories tonight. Um, one thing I do want you guys to do when you're listening to stories, dig in your pocket, I know it's right in your pocket, pull out your phone and like turn it off. Turn it off, or turn it on vibrate at least. I know you got the kids at home and stuff. Turn it on vibrate and uh, uh, just enjoy the experience of the stories today. Just enjoy the experience. Uh, today's theme is resilience. And Carrie talked about resilience a little bit. And I thought about resilience and I was like, what's something that's resilient? And I, I, this will sound corny, but stories, stories are resilient. Stories are the most resilient thing that I could think of. Um, resilience. A friend of mine, an amazing poet named Sh Shane Coison. I know that last name is hard to spell, but look up his stuff. Shane Coison, amazing poet. But he says, uh, if your heart is broken, Make art with the pieces. Beautiful and eloquent like Stephanie, you know. Uh, I always say that my struggles are the raw materials for my stories. I, I, I think I like struggling to, I use those times as raw materials for the stories that I create. I do a podcast called Homemade Stories and, and those are the things I use for my stories. Um, any Game of Thrones watchers in the house here? Huh? I know some people are sick of the game. All the people who don't watch the Game of Thrones are so happy that it's over, you know. <laughs> but some Game of Thrones watchers in the house, and another chair of the event, Joseph Groover, he, he, he texts me on the last Game of Thrones. He texts me, he said, uh, after it was over, he said, hey, did you, did you watch the, the, the Game of Thrones? And I said, no, nah, man, I didn't watch it. Don't tell me anything. And he was like, no, nah, did you see that one part with, Joe, don't tell me anything, man. 
Yeah, no, I just got to share this one part. For, I, was, I just I stopped answering back and just, you know, blocked this, blocked this text from, from now on. But uh, I'll I, I turn it back on, Joe. Uh, you, I don't know if you tried to text me about anything else. But I watched the last episode, and it was the, the greatest quote. And I got the quote on Facebook like 20 times after he said it because I tell stories. But, but I thought it was a good quote. I'm going to read it for you. Um, in that lackluster finale, I don't know how everybody else feels. Yeah. Uh, what unites people? Armies, gold, flags, stories. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. Nothing can stop it. No army can defeat it. And who has a better story than I'm not going to give away the spoiler, you know. But who has a better story than our storytellers today? Our storytellers today. Are you guys ready for some stories? All right. I'm going to introduce our first storyteller. And I, I want you guys to, 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 to give them a lot of energy and, 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 and bring them to the stage. I want you guys to all borrow, borrow their uh, brain and eyeballs. Think of doing that, you know, when they come to the stage. But our first